Hansi. Asal. 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 So my full outfit is... What's going on, Murphy? Welcome back to our channel, guys. We started off the morning early, and we left the house because we're about to go to the gym because we're kind of in like a time crunch. I have blood work this morning at 10.30. We definitely want to make sure I get in my workout before I go because later I'm not going to be able to work out. Yeah, with how she feels already, <clears throat> and then now she's not going to... She's taking blood. Yeah. It's going to be a long day. But mornings are my favorite part of the day because it's the best that I feel. If I miss a workout is when I feel the worst. So hopefully this morning workout sets me up for a good day. Yeah, we've had a morning though. Yeah. You ever just have those mornings where it's like, you just can't seem to get nothing right. No, that was literally me. <laughs> that was bro. Right. I think that shit out of here. feeling you have is not long lasting. Oh, that's what makes it's sad to say, but the holidays, the holidays. No, I know, but it's like let's keep the holidays just that. So at least we have that one time of year. That's yeah. Really nice. Yeah, like people still listen. having their Christmas trees up right now. It's great. Literally since the first of the year, like I started not feeling good. I know what it is, but for sure answers right now are just like our are loading. I have appointments this month that are going to basically give me more answers about my um, prolactinoma. I'm getting blood work done and I've been talking to my primary care, getting new specialists. Like I've been doing the whole thing. So it is a little delay. Finding doctors here has been literally months and months and months. But and the months doctor you did just struggle. find to help you get this blood work and MRI stuff that you need, like mm -hmm. the scans and tests you need, yeah, was really good and she seemed very urgent. It kind of scared us, but it also like, thank God we finally found somebody that cares. Yeah, that gives a she shit. definitely cares. Now my specialist that I have to go to at the end of the month is literally like an hour and a half away. Yeah. Because there's just nobody in this area that can you even had to wait months for this appointment coming up Yeah, we're showing up with the MRI. We're showing up with with the blood work We're showing up with everything everything's gonna be transferred to them So once we walk yeah. in that appointment, it's like a meeting and it's like let's get to work. Yeah Let's figure this shit out the, the thing that I am I guess proud of myself with all of this is that I feel like I've come to terms with it and I'm not being scared of it anymore. And I feel like that's what for like so long that I was like, I was running from it because I didn't want to believe it. I kept saying like, why me? Like kind of like burying myself and like pity and like denial. And I just don't want to do that anymore. And I wish I would have come to this, but you know, I was- I think it was a thing of processing. Like damn, this really happened. It's yeah. like a moment of hard to believe. Mm -hmm. But I wish I just would have did all of this earlier, but like I know that everything Everything was supposed to happen the way that it was supposed to and I know that because I feel like This realization has taught me so much I want women to know that seeing her the way she is is not normal And she's not herself and she hasn't been like I'm not trying to make you feel sad or nothing but she had we've already talked about this yeah. but she hasn't been herself for years and it's been slowly progressing more and more of her not being herself all of this came from her birth control and it's like men don't see what women have to go through so for the guys out there like we have it easy but for women you have to 
really watching her i can say this you have to watch what birth control you're getting on you have to like really monitor that shit like i know like you ain't want to get pregnant or you know you're young and you got a something to do with your period like it helps like uh um yeah like slow it down or it helps like this yeah, the pain of it like the, yeah it it, ha it happens like differently for everybody but yeah it like can help your period in different ways yeah i know for you when you had got off of it but then got back on so that you could try and get a period years ago yeah like you were doing it to try and even get a period to regulate it and it was barely working but i want to say like really monitor and really know what you're putting inside of your body i remember being in the doctor's office and my doctor almost like gloating to me that like oh in your period may you may even not have a period at all and i remember at the time being young and having terrible periods being like oh my god that that sounds like the best thing ever all right we're at the gym i just did sauna for like a few minutes just to like warm up my body I'm tired but i'm always freaking tired so i want more glutes today because ryan's working chest so and yes i use the sissy gloves finally found it after like freaking 10 minutes but i'm early and i think i'm just gonna go in and see if they'll take me get it over with oh you got a smoothie in you yeah hopefully not you'll have it when you get out too so oh i'm nervous because i'm already like i already feel so like lightheaded all the time it's like i'm nervous the process yeah first step <laughs> okay, I go now. I go now. So she already took the blood. It's in this arm. Oh my gosh. I was getting so lightheaded. I was like getting so nervous. But now I have to. Now I have to pee. Because. Pregnancy test. <laughs> Look at that little miss dead arm. Dead arm. <laughs> dead for the rest of the day. How you feel? Oh, at first, whenever I take blood, I get nervous because I, like, my my insides start to, like, tingle. And, like, that's when you, like, that's when you know you're going to pass out, right? Yeah. That's, like, why I get nervous every time. Because I get so lightheaded and then I'm, like, my insides start to tingle and it started happening. They were pretty quick. Yeah, and they, they all knew me in there and they were so cute. So they made me feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we literally just got back and Callie peed all over herself. This is an everyday thing with the dog. Yeah, it's this pretty much, yeah, she like has a serious peeing problem right now. At night, she'll be in there for five hours and won't pee. But for some reason, when we leave, she pees. And we'll be gone for only like two hours. Like, your pony may have been a little bit longer because... Mama, stop. Stay still, Mama. What'd you do? What'd you do? What? <laughs> Look at you! Oh my god! You pee pee all over. It was she literally looked like this, but all pee. <laughs> What'd you do, Mama? <laughs> You're cute. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. You're a little brat. Spoil brat. Spoil brat. Spoil brat. brat. Okay. Okay, this is the outfit with my accessories. Come here, girl. Ooh. Bro, we're gonna have to take a picture of her after when she's all big in that bag. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, I think you're so cute and spoiled. Mom mode. I'm gonna put an actual outfit on her, but I feel like she's gonna get too hot, so I just. Yeah. You're looking good, all pink. I like. At Home Depot because I'm going to get some plants for the house for this year. 
Yeah. Add some more oxygen. <laughs> I really do feel like plants though give off something to make you live just, I don't know, better. Like when you're breathing that in, I don't know, because we didn't have them all last year. It felt different. It felt different for we sure. Small so small little plants, but not like big ones. Yeah, so we have to get ones for outside too. I want nice ones though. I don't want just palms. Like I want like real, real plants, like real like bush looking plants for outside. Yeah. Okay, so do you like these? Yeah, I do like these. Because these are, these are like a planter combo, so we don't even have to like replant these. And, and yeah, and they'll match our uh, like gray that we have out there. Gray and black, yeah. I think we, how many would you think we should do? Because I kind of like this vibe. The balcony's long. All right, so we're going with just three of these for outside because we can't find no others that match really with what we're going for. <laughs> this is how they fit. It's only a short ride, so, but they fit. Isn't that crazy? Yay. I swear we always get lucky. Yay. <laughs> Round go, two. Girl. We went back in and we got a few plants for like the kitchen, bathrooms. Guys, guess what? I got a basil plant. I'm so excited to told Ryan that we're gonna have to do like a pizza night, like a, like a, Homemade pizza night because I'm gonna use my basil, make a margarita pizza. Really? Yeah. I can't tell if she wants to go home or not. Really? <gasps> she wants to go home. You wanna go see your brother? Where's Keo? Where's Keo? Where's Keo? Where's your brother? Look at her eyelashes. Mm -hmm. so, she has beautiful eyelashes. She's so gorgeous. Aww. Alright, so we're at Whole Foods now picking up grocery shampoo for the week just okay. to get replenished with our week. Yeah, we honestly haven't done like a in-depth grocery shop in a minute, so I want to make sure that we have enough yeah. in the house because we haven't really had anything in the house recently. But we've been shopping at Whole Foods, best place to shop at. So we just ate a quick lunch, had a chicken ranch, <laughs> chicken <Wait>. Caesar, <laughs> and a Koya protein shake. Best protein shakes out right now. We just found them, they're in Whole Foods. Let me read the stats. Do I four grams of sugar, 18 grams of protein, and it comes in like every different flavor like this. This one's Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This one's Fruity Pebbles. They got Cocoa Puss. We love you. And it doesn't hurt our stomachs. And most protein shakes, like, we find hurting our stomach or, like, texture's bad. This one is so smooth, texture's good, and it's the flavor is just, like, just so good and doesn't hurt our stomach. The ingredients, too, aren't, like, too bad. So damn good. Since we can't have cereal, we just drink it in protein. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we just brought up all, all this stuff. This is the fire right here. Cute. Is definitely two weeks worth of food. Um, because it came to a little more than normal. But normally we spend like I would say like 200 bucks a week on food. Um, 150 to 200 bucks, all depending on like right now, especially though, cutting wise, like 150. I would say like per week. You're better off going to meal prep. Yeah, you are. This is what it's looking like. Got the whole island full. So we're gonna put it all away, organize it, and then can we just put the plants out? What? Yeah, put the plants out. I love like just doing it on my 
down and then... Oh. Wow. Why does it look empty? <laughs> it does, but I feel like this is like what we eat, you know? <laughs> wow, yeah, this looks good though. And we have our protein bars, our eggs, our fruit, our extra meals, our meats, our drinks, greens, condiments, and then... We don't have like a ton of snacks because we try to avoid snacking, but the snacks that we do have... Yay. Yay. But we hope you guys enjoyed spending a day with us where we just... Honestly, you just went through a really realistic day that we had some things to get done and... <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much a day in our life. Yeah. But if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you like, make sure you comment, let us know, mm -hmm. and then we'll do more. But we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.